What's up, YouTube? Happy Friday. So, I've been drinking these sparkling water drinks for the past couple of weeks, and I think that I have become like fully addicted to this stuff. It's become so much of a habit that I, I literally haven't even been drinking normal water. All I've been drinking is this stuff. This specific one is from Wegmans, which is like a local supermarket here in upstate New York. But anyways, so I just took the dog out for a walk, which you probably just saw, and it's like 11.45 right now, so I'm in the middle of the work day, so luckily, I'm able to work from home today, so I'm gonna bang out some work right here. I have a couple calls, but after that, I have something pretty interesting to talk about today, and you might find it interesting as well. So, let's get some work done so I can get freed up for this afternoon. All right, I just took a quick shower and changed, but the reason for making this video today was because I wanna give you a quick tip and sort of a little bit of advice that I think helped me to become a little bit more of a creative photographer and just really overall helped for me to improve the photography work that I was creating. This tip is very, very simple. It might be a little bit difficult, but it is extremely simple. So what I want you to do is to pick one focal length or one lens rather, no zoom lenses, none of that. It has to be a prime lens. And I want you to shoot with that lens exclusively for three months, yes, three full months. Now let me explain. Now you're probably already thinking, what do you mean choose only one lens? I shoot sports and landscapes and street photography and cityscapes and astrophotography and all of that kind of stuff. How am I only gonna shoot with one lens? Hey, me too. I shoot all of that stuff too. But I just did this challenge a couple months back and it worked out great. So let me give you some context. I've been doing photography for like four or five, maybe even six years at this point, And I've used a ton of different lenses. I mean, you guys, if you've been watching the channel, see that I'm consistently testing different lenses out to see what I like the most. And I just quite honestly love testing different gear out to see what I can do with it. But the one lens that I could never quite understand why people liked was the 50 millimeter lens. And I really wanted to understand why people liked it so much. So I did what any rational human being would do is I sold off all of my gear that I used to have. This was probably like nine or 10 months ago. I sold off all my gear, bought the Fuji 35 millimeter F2 lens, which is about a 50 millimeter equivalent and shot exclusively with that lens for about three months. Most people probably think I'm insane for doing this, but what I wanted to experiment with was the idea that I could potentially shoot with this one single lens and still shoot all of the subject matter that I was shooting previously, landscape, cityscape, street photography, portraits, all of that stuff. I wanted to be able to shoot all of that stuff, all the stuff that I was previously shooting on like four or five different lenses. I wanted to see if I could shoot all of that on a single prime lens, a single focal length. So I started getting after it and I used that lens exclusively for about three months. I shot everything from cityscapes to landscapes to portraits to street photography, literally everything with that lens. And I learned a couple things along the way. First thing that I learned was that I was getting out way more frequently to shoot than I was previously. And I think that this was mostly the result of the fact that I wasn't burdened or weighed down literally by having so many different lenses. Previously, I had the Fujifilm 50 to 140 millimeter f2.8 lens, I had the 18 to 55 zoom, I had the 12 millimeter Rokinon, I had the 23 millimeter f1.4 prime, and I sold literally all of those lenses and just had the 35 millimeter f2. And so it completely simplified my kit. And I think that because my kit was so simple and I didn't have anything to worry about from a gear standpoint, I just got out and shot way more frequently with it. Number two, the second thing that I realized was that the 50 millimeter focal length is actually the perfect focal length for just about any subject matter. Even cityscapes and landscapes and things where you would traditionally want a super wide angle lens, you can still take fantastic cityscapes and landscapes with a 50 millimeter lens. You just have to learn how to use it. And I quite frankly have some of my favorite landscapes and cityscapes, I'll show you some of them right here, that I've ever taken with a 50 millimeter lens. And it's completely changed the way I think about focal lengths as a result, or as it relates to different subject matter. And number three, the main reason for creating this video and titling it the way that I titled it, is I realized that limiting the amount of gear that you have and really challenging yourself by only allowing yourself a certain subset of gear really helps to make you more creative 
as a photographer. Now, rather than digging through your bag constantly, getting a different lens out to shoot a different subject or to frame something up differently, all you have is that singular lens. Depending on which lens or which focal length you choose, you're gonna have to frame things up an entirely different way depending on what that focal length is. If you choose a 50 millimeter lens, it's a very, very standard field of view. So it's difficult to get things on the ground, in the foreground, and then a subject in the background like it would be really easy to do with a super wide angle lens. And the same thing, when something's super far away, rather than zooming in on it like you would with a 70 to 200 or something like that with a 50 millimeter you have to get up closer to that thing so depending on what the subject matter is you have to completely change your strategy in terms of how you approach different photographs and different subject matter so it makes you a hell of a lot more creative and it really helps you in my opinion to capture better photographs now during my photography career there have been a couple different periods of time where I think that my skill level in photography has tremendously increased and now one of those times that I think my skill level tremendously increased was during the time where I limited myself to that single lens. It forced me to frame things up differently. It forced me to think about photography from a different standpoint. And it forced me really to get out of my comfort zone as it relates to camera gear. And so I highly recommend this to just about anybody who feels like they're struggling in terms of creativity with photography. Now, I'm actually repeating this challenge again with myself right now. However, rather than using a 50 millimeter equivalent lens, I'm actually using a 28 millimeter lens right now. And so if you watch the past couple of my videos, I did buy the Leica Q, which as you know, is a completely fixed lens camera. So I have no choice in terms of changing up the focal length. Of course, I have my a7 III right here, but I haven't been taking any photos with it. All I've been doing is video with it. But uh, yeah, I'm forcing myself right now to use a 28 millimeter lens, which is something that I traditionally haven't really used all that often. Typically, I would shoot with like a 16 millimeter wide angle lens for landscapes. I got really used to using the 50 millimeter for just about everything. And then for anything that was really far out, I was using more of a zoom lens, but 28 millimeters is kind of a foreign focal length to me. And so right now I'm challenging myself and I'm seeing if by repeating this challenge again, I can even get more creative and potentially learn a little bit more about myself as a photographer by just using that singular focal length. So I challenge you guys to go out and use a single lens, a single focal length for the next three months and see what happens. You might genuinely improve your photography skills over the next three months, who knows? And if you do decide you're gonna do this, comment below what kind of camera gear you're using to do this challenge. And if you're posting on Instagram, hashtag JW, lens experiment so I can see your photos and I'll comment on them, I'll like them, and I'll give you guys my feedback as well. Anyways, thank you a ton for watching the video. I appreciate it as always, and I'll see you next week. Peace.